it good? Was it good? <clears throat> we good? Is it good? We good? 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 Okay. Hello. Uh, hold on. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It is Tuesday today. And I wonder if this just needs... Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me try something here. Oh, that's a little better. Oh, my goodness. Oh, excuse me. Um, I had to, I had to emergency. Yeah, I know. Um, I had to emergency, um, update arena, which is why it's, which is why it's scaled like that. I just don't have it full screened. Is that, is that good? All right. Good enough. All right. There we go. Hey, what's up, Samo? How are you doing? Okay, so I have a very interesting. I'm gonna. I gotta move this pillow back down. Down more. I think I need. Hold on. Is that good? Oh yeah, there we go. I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, I'm pretty excited about what I've got to about what I've got today. So, I played, I played this a while ago, right? Ruby Storm. I played it a while ago, and it did okay. Ugh. Allergies, man. It did okay, um, but new cards have come out that um, could potentially make this like even better. So I wanted to give it another go. So, the number one card that came out that makes this significantly better is Urabrask. Because Urabrask essentially reads the same as Bergy. And I just want to know what this pair is, is going to do together, right? So, of course, I have all of, like, the one-mana red cantrips. Um, I also have Vindictive, Vindictive Flamestoker and Ox of Agonis. I'm in love with this card. I love this card so much. Every time I play this card, it do, it just does work. Um, so these are like ways to refill my hand. And then Reckless Impulse, Ren's Resolve as the eight impulse draw things. And then I'm not entirely sure about this Monastery Swift Spear. Um, I was thinking that like maybe I just need something else to draw my opponent's attention away from like everything else that I'm doing. So I have that. And then the other thing, that, and then in the sideboard, so I have these Flame Scroll Celebrants, right? I don't have any plan on casting the Flame Scroll Celebrant. I want to cast Revel in Silence because that's the silence effect that we have on Arena. We don't have actual silence yet. So, I was thinking that red doesn't have anything against, like, the blue matchup. Like, it doesn't have, like, um, hand disruption or anything like that. So, I was thinking splashing white, like, a very small amount of white, to cast Revel in Silence as my way to, like, try to dodge counter spells or like spend my combo turn without having to worry about my opponent could be helpful um if it isn't then i have no idea what these four slots are and then i also have brotherhood's end and obliterating bolts for aggro and then lithomantic barrages for just like more of the control matchups like maybe hmm maybe these should just be the uncounterable chandra maybe that's just good enough hmm. I don't know I think I think I'll try it and if it goes like super poorly and it turns out that I want something else I'll just I'll just do something else oh excuse me no that's not oh what what's happening what did I oh I must have clicked profile instead okay um Explorer um Ruby storm 
I'm mostly excited to like try out Herborask. So Bergy into Herborask into Horn, like the backside of Bergy, just I tested it with the bot a lot, with Sparky a lot. That curve was just so it was so good. And I want to do it every single game. I just not have to worry about anything. That's a win. Turn five win. Because you make a banner off of Bergy when you cast a horn. So you can cast one of like one of like the draw spells. And it makes you two mana because you have both Urabrask and Bergy. Just insane. And then Okay, well that has no land, so I can't keep that. Alright, I will keep this. Put one of these to the bottom. Hopefully these will draw me into my lands. Okay. I'm pretty much set then. It's liter it's literally just the same card. That's fantastic. Oh, so this is probably Abzan Grease Fang. Yup, it is. Alright, well. I'm probably just dead. Okay. They don't have a land. Specifically a black land, which is important. Still no land. Okay. I like I like my odds. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> do I impulse or do I crash through Warlord's Fury? I think I impulse. Okay. Not fantastic, and I only have like two turns before I'm just dead. Oh, okay. I have less turns now before I'm dead. Yeah, I don't have any way to win from here. Uh, yep. I mean, I could play Swift Spear. It can block. But if they just have Grease Fang, like, they just win anyway. But maybe they don't have Grease Fang. I mean... Always play to your outs, right? So I could play the Flame Stoker here and then block two creatures. It's really. I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, if they have Grease Fang, I'm just dead anyway. Do you have Grease Fang? Probably. Yep. Okay, we're done. All right. So I need. These and these. I don't cut either of these, right? I think I cut another ox. And I think I can cut a swift spear. Try like that. I also may just end up getting run over in all of these games. And, like, having to switch to another deck. Ooh, okay. This is fine. Okay, okay. As long as I can draw lands. Alright, yeah, we're good. As long as I can draw lands. Sky shot. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Burgie. 
I really want to play this Urbrask next turn. Because then, if I can get this Horn, this Hornfell after Urbrask, I just win. Okay, goes to combat. Very interesting. So they don't have a Grease Fang. Another Rafine's on the Okay, there's a Parhelion. Uh, top deck's like a king. And now I just have Arbrask. Okay. And Arbrask can actually hold down the fort against these Rafines and Formans. Okay. He'll probably go with Parhelion. Yep. Yep. So this is nine. It's 13 here. I go to one. Is that right? I go to one. Eight. Twelve, sixteen. Yeah, I'll go to one. Because if I draw land, I could just win. Ah! Alright, I'm definitely not winning now. No, I don't, I don't think I can. Hmm. Always play to your outs. Play your ends resolve. Okay. Um. Yeah, I die. Boo! Okay, not really showcasing, you know, the, the, the coolness of the deck. It also may, it also may be too much of a glass game. <laughs> but I want to, I want to at least try it, right? Like, um, the last one, the last Ruby Storm list that I had was also very much a glass cannon. And I think that's just the way that, like, a Red Storm deck is. It's just going to be like that. What's that steam filler that gives mana based on pawn counters on it? The Runaway Steamkin. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I could, actually. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. I have stuff here. Uh, I just spilled my whole drink. That's great. Wow. All right, hold on. Hold on. I am so clumsy. That could be a play. Feels like you just don't have the gas to get where you want to be. Well... The, the whole issue, honestly, is, like, Red's lack of ability to interact um, in a meaningful way with what it's trying to do. Because if you just don't touch it, like, the Ruby Storm deck, it just goes off. Like, when I'm playing against, like when I'm playing against a bot, it's amazing, right? Like, it's so good. But anywhere else, it just does not do anything. And, like, if you were in blue, then, you know, you'd have some ability, you know, right there. Well, I mean, that's not that bad. But, like, if you were in blue, you'd have some ability to do something. But um, you can't cast... You can't cast blue cantrips off of the red mana makers... So it's, like, that's your issue, right? The blue cantrips are significantly better, but 
Like if we had like if we had mana morphos. Uh, I guess try to play Bergy. Wow, I cannot believe that I got juice all over this. Okay. Okay, I mean... I could just win? The other thing that I like is that if you at least cast enough spells, um, Urabrask, like, helps you because he's a passive. Ooh, that's good, actually. Urabrask helps you because he lets you, um, like, kind of attempt to, like, stay alive more. Okay, not great. So then, so now because I don't have anything to do, but I've cast enough spells, I can just flip Urbrosk. It'll deal, it'll deal three damage to my opponent and their creature. And then next turn, I make three treasures to then try to go off even better on the next turn after that. Because I'll pass and flames everything in my yard. This is why I think that Urbrosk is a huge boon to the deck. Seriously, like it got, it got all in my keyboard and everything. I'm so upset. I mean, I'm not that upset, but it's fine. So I make three treasures. What is this from? Oh, it's from Ren's Resolve. Um. Yeah, sure. Because I can ox this turn, and then when Urbrask flips back over next turn, I have a fresh hand full of good cards to try to play. Until end of turn, you may cast in some sorcery spells from any, from any graveyard? Ooh, from any graveyard, okay. Yeah, and then it flips back into Urbrask. Yep. Go to combat. I mean, I don't even really need it at this point. Like, I didn't get the storm kill this win, also because my opponent has been severely... Is the Great Work legendary? The Great Work is not legendary. The Great Work is not legendary, neither is Urbrosk. Like, like, I just look at this card. I look at this card and I'm like, I want to storm with this card. Whenever it's possible to have both in play and flip Urbrask in response to the last counter on the great work. Like have like have an Urbrask and have a great work. And then when the great work triggers, you flip Urbrask? You would have to cast You would have to cast all of your spells at instant speed. Because it's in response to a trigger. I don't think I want, like, too much. I think I just want obliterating bolts. We can probably... Yeah, I think you might be right. I think I think after this game, I'll cut Swiss Spears. Do I want Brotherhood's End? I really didn't see too much from my opponent. It'd be fun. It'd be funny for sure. That would actually be sweet. I might have to like take the keycaps off of it. I really don't. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just gonna let it sit like that. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, this is the same hand that basically. This is the same hand that basically won me the last game. Oh, they're agree. Oh, okay. Well, play of vindictive. Uh, Brotherhood's End kills all artifacts that are, like, three or less, I think. It's, it's more so just as, um, an anger of the gods, more than anything. Yeah, this is why I didn't, like, opt for Brotherhood's End, because I don't think I'm going to need it. Because, like, they're, they're just off to a super slow start already. 
I'm upset that I'm not going to get this Urbrask, but I do have one in my hand. Yeah, it's either... Hold on. I have it on um, untapped. Brotherhood's End. Choose one. It deals three damage to each creature and each Planeswalker or destroy all artifacts of the mana value three or less. Oh, it's a Tovalar deck. Okay. Um, This is just a free block. Will there be a Shame Scoop? So the question is, do I crash through to try to hit the land drop and then I can obliterating bolt the Tovalar? Or do I just obliter... I think I just obliterating bolt the Tovalar. I think it's fine. Pingy for one. Yeah, I wasn't sure why I went with that instead of Anger of the Gods. Maybe it should just be Anger of the Gods. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm behind a land drop, but... Actually, we're going to see if I would have drawn it. Was it... Was it... Oh, I would have drawn it, too. Dang it. Um... I mean, Bergy. And then if they don't kill Bergy, I could possibly just win next turn. Or at the very least, deal my opponent an obscene amount of damage. There's so much... Ooh, okay. Oh, and I drew the land, too. Okay, so I probably just win. And see, this is the thing. If you can get this set up, if you can just get it set up, you probably just win. Like, the like the red card draw for this stuff has become so good at this point, especially with eight of these now. It's just, it's just so hard to lose. But, I mean, that's assuming you can get it set up and keep it. Ooh. I want to flip this so bad. I would love to I would love to just flip, like, two rituals off of this. All of these are also free when you have both. Okay, so I don't get to flip it. I can obliterating bolt this, though. Use bottle with cap or pops off like a free desk in the future. I know. And then we'll just activate the ability. This is the other reason why I think that Urbrask is just like a huge boon to the deck. Because Yeah. <laughs> because it does damage to my opponent and all their stuff. And it gives me treasures. And then it gives me a second chance to combo off. I don't see. Here's the thing. I'm not normally that clumsy. I just think I didn't see it because it's like, because it's like right in my line of sight, like directly underneath my microphone. Obliterating Bolt cannot go face, unfortunately. That would probably make it too good though. Okay, let's play Steam Can. All right. Here's the thing, though. I love Obliterating Bolt. I think that card is so good. So it, so at first it was Lava Coil. It was just four damage, and it exiles. Then it was Thundering Rebuke, and it targeted either a creature or a Planeswalker, but it didn't exile. Then we got Obliterating Bolt, which was literally just Thundering Rebuke and Lava Coil mashed together. So it does creatures or Planeswalkers and exiles. It is literally just the best of both worlds. And I think it's, I think that's hilarious. I think that's so funny that, that, like, that specific design of card was just power crept so much. <laughs> Steamkin with your crazy spells and ability to discard hand and draw more sleep. Yeah, I probably should have just put it in from the get-go. But, I don't know. I saw, I saw, like, a, I saw an Urbrask list that I think Doomwake that I think Doomwake had played that had um, Monastery Swiss Spears in it. And I was like, oh, that's like kind of a good idea because you can use the Swiss Spears to like, you know, distract your opponent. But maybe it's just, maybe it's just better to have the redundancy if you're going for like the whole, like the whole combo thing. 
Yeah, that's that's like real power creep. Reasonable power creep is, you know, um, like green six mana, three three is that you have to sacrifice all your lands to play, becoming six mana six sixes with trample. Like that's reasonable. But well, I mean, I don't think I don't think the whole lava coil thing is unreasonable. I think I think as a sideboard card it's more than fine. Okay, the question is, am I gonna be Phoenix? Probably not. Alright, I'm gonna need Brotherhood's ends. Brotherhood's ends. And that flips, and it's a goblin, and then he does something else, and it's a goblin, and then I would not be surprised if there's a lord. There it is. So three, six, seven, eight. So if I block, this has menace. Wait, what's giving it menace? It just has menace from. Oh, it has a menace counter on it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so I block here. I take five. I go to thirteen. I untap. I play flame stoker, flame stoker. They attack with the same. I block, I block. I take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just don't think that I beat this draw because I don't have any interaction. I just, I just think I'm dead. Maybe, maybe that's an early scoop, but like, I don't know. And then I just like trim across the whole board i think that flame stoker is better than ox so i'm gonna do this and then i think actually no i think i trim do i just trim all the ox or do i cut a flame stoker too i mean i guess they're both yeah i guess i guess it's both two and the same because they uh, they both do the same thing Okay, I think I got most... I did not get most of the juice out of this. <laughs> Ugh. I think it's fine. It'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna play first. I will keep. The question is, do I play Vindictive Flame Stoker on one? I don't think so. I think I just wait in Brotherhood's End. Okay, just a mountain. Go. Battle Cry Goblin. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Draw a card. Another land. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and wipe the board and then play uh, Flame Stoker. Actually, I'm not under nearly as much pressure pressure as I was last game, so I could even just play Urbrask here. Especially because I have a second one, and Urbrask literally just holds down the fort. Yeah, I think that's fine. Discards a snoop. Okay. Thought seizes me. Probably taking the wrath. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Another battle kite goblin. Doesn't attack. Well, play flame stoker. Play ancestral anger. My hair's getting really long. I really gotta cut it. Not like not like this hair, but like this hair. Actually, if I can cast one more spell. Nope. Alright, um. That's unfortunate. I was gonna say, if I could cast one more spell, this Urbrask can flip and kill his board. That's what I really needed. I really needed that flame stoker to be another to be another spell.
I'm just gonna say this. I absolutely love peanut butter. I literally come home from work and I just start eating peanut butter out of a jar. I literally have an entire jar of peanut butter with just a spoon in it. I don't know why people, more people don't do those. Is that weird? Maybe. So he can activate this. I take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If he chooses to pump, which he's going to, that's what I thought. Yep. So I need to get a whole string of spells here. I, I just have to. Like, I have to draw a Ren's Resolve into... Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. You know what? That'll work. That will work. I'm fine with that. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip Urabrask. Because then in a turn, I'll be able to play all the stuff from my graveyard. Or in two turns, I'll be able to play the stuff from my graveyard. That was brilliant. Okay, sure. So I go to one. Which is not a lot of life. Oh, and then I die because they just fire up Den of the Bugbear again. And I have two blockers. Oh, or that. Well, that's stupid. Alright. I mean, I got him pretty good in that one game. So I guess you can't, like, hate too much. See, this is the thing. Like, if I had blue cantrips, I would have been scrying that whole time. Like, I probably wouldn't would have been able to hit um, what I needed to hit. But, whatever. I just want... I wonder if there's a way that you could build this that let you use the red mana to cast blue cantrips. I mean, if we had mana morphos. But... I don't want I don't want that for Pioneer. No, 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 no. If this if this continues to lose like super badly though. I'm gonna keep playing it until it wins. <laughs> okay. I mean two three four is a deadly combo. Oh right, I can't play this unless there's a Alright, I can't play this unless there's a creature to target. It's alright. This is just Rakdos. I'm gonna cry. Maybe I should have Ley Lines for the Rakdos matchup. Actually, that might not be a terrible idea. Oh, it's dinosaur? What? It's dinosaurs? Okay. Get in, hit ya. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Runaway Steamkin kind of does the same job that Monastery Swift Spear does, which is it gets bigger for your red spells and it like kind of draws your opponent away from what's going on. Because this is just going to become like a 4-4. Four -four. And it's just going to beat face. Okay. Communes with dinosaurs. Why black, though? For, te for Tetsamok? Okay, Marauding Raptor. Sure. Plays Marauding Raptor because it costs one less. Runaway Steamkin is cool. Can I just cast Urbrask this turn? I might be able to, actually. Actually, if I'm really, really lucky, I might just be able to win. Which is crazy. Crazy. 
So I can cast Urbrask. He makes a mana. I then have two spells to cast off of him and three draws between the two. I think that's probably good enough. And then Ren's Resolve. Oh, this is whenever you cast a Ren. Oh, so I'll be able to make mana off the Steamkin. So then... Reckless Imp... Wow. Oh, yeah. Run Runaway Steamkin is probably the best idea I think you've ever had for me, ever. Ren's Resolve. Oh, I forgot to take counters off of it. Dang. So I missed a counter here. But, I mean, with everything that I have going on, I don't think I'm going to hurt that bad. Who let me have this? And I have two oxes that I can play in order to refuel. Wait, this is why I, this is why I have these. Because because the red cantrips the red cantrips can only get you so far. More steam can. <laughs> yeah, having having two is crazy. And then I'm actually gonna play the. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the backside of there. Crazy, 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 crazy. Activate this. Discard. Draw some cards. Well, red style draw some cards. And I only have to get my opponent down to three because I can flip this. I can flip Urbrask. And the crazy thing is, is that if I... If I whiff... Like, if I totally and completely whiff... Do I just discard this? I think so. Because I can play it from my graveyard. Okay, there's a Reckless Impulse. And the crazy thing is that, like, if I totally whiff on the whole turn, I can just flip Urbrask, attack them for a bunch, and then just wait until I can replay everything from my graveyard and kill them anyway. Uh, let's discard this. This deck is sweet. I take back everything that I said. This deck is gonna do things. I I no longer care what my win rate is as long as I can do this like two more times. <laughs> you know what really bothers me? The fact that these are all uneven. Oh, this is the one that's in my graveyard. Okay. Um, I'm actually just going to play this one from Exile for five. Get a new hand. Crash through. This deck is sweet. At least all my Steamkins are even now. Twenty. Just casually floating twenty mana. <laughs> oh, reckless symbols. Yeah, oxen draw. Oxen draw all day. This is almost as evil as my Paradox Elves deck. I love Paradox Engine so much. I I want there to be a Paradox Engine deck in Explorer so badly. But I want to be the one to build it and like like build it and have it be like an archetype. I want that for myself so badly. But I have a screen cap here that will blow you. I would love to see it. I really would. I, w I want you to show it to me right now. Paradox Elves. So you've probably got like Beast Whispers and, and stuff. That's 
fun. That's fun. I've thought about doing that. Oh, Lithoform and Paradox Engine plus Elves. Yeah, I'll just cast this other Ox. Yeah, Beast Whispers. Maybe... You know what, Samo? Maybe I'll play an Elf deck. And maybe I'll play like a Paradox Elves deck next week. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually want to do that. Cancel. Play the this. Doesn't matter what I target. It doesn't even matter if I have if I have mana anymore. It just nothing matters. Draw a spell. Not a spell. So I have five cards left in my deck? Okay. Warlords crash through. I win with four cards left in my deck. And then I can Urobras them. Okay, let me let me see. This is my this is my real time reaction to this to this screen cap. If you can decipher what is going on in the screenshot. Okay, let me let me let me sideboard here. I think these and I think these and then I think I'm just going to do exactly what I've been doing, which is cut all of this stuff. What in the Sam Hill? What? <laughs> what? What is going on? Negative. Negative 31,000. 836. Oh my gosh. How are they so big? Oh, oh, Endray's Forerunners. Okay. Lithoform engine, paradox engine. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, and this is this is brawl too. Okay. Okay, this is brawl. I could have done way more damage if I didn't start timing out. That really is like the bane of, the bane of all that is good. I think this hand's fine. It's like medium, but it's fine. Okay, it communes with dinosaurs. Mobile, mobile friendly combo. <laughs> hey, Amarius, what's Amar, Amari, Amarius? Am I saying that right? I'm gonna assume I'm saying that right. Oh, I should have played the flame stalker. Dang it. Yeah, I think I think you've inspired me to play to play a Paradox Engine version of Elves next week for Tuesdays. Um for Tuesday's combo deck. Do I Reckless Impulse or do I play Vindictive Flame Stoker Ancestral Anger? Oh, I believe it. Paradox Engine goes hard. Like that. That card is easily one of my favorite cards, if not my favorite card. Actually, no, my favorite card is Crook Clan Ironworks. Crook Clan Ironworks is my favorite card. Followed closely by Paradox Engine and then Baleful Strix. Love Baleful Strix. I don't know why, I just do. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if it's right, but it's what I'm gonna do. I think I should kill this. Rampaging for Asadon. Okay. Yeah, I think I Sacred Foundry tapped. Kill this. Actually, no. I, pr I think I killed this. Ooh, they missed a drop. Oh yeah, I definitely kill this. Cliff top retreat warlord's fury. Steamkin. And I can't block with this, so I might as well attack. Oh, devastation to get forerunner is good, actually. Another Vindictive Flamestalker. Well, play Herbrosk. All right. Can I win the game? Maybe. 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 Maybe? Maybe. Ah, I drew his land. Is this triple green? That's fine. Draws a card. Ugh. He drew his land. He drew his land. I will throw this. I was going to say, I will throw a flame st stoker under the bus. All right. Reckless impulse. What do you got? Make it good. Come on. Two, two draw spells. Ooh, that was close. That was good. That was good. I'm gonna have to take some damage here. Play Reckless Impulse. So that lets me get some mana off a of Steam Can. Another Steam Can. Hmm. Do I pop the Flame Stoker? My hand doesn't really do anything. Actually, I wonder if I steam can and then play the other stoker. Because I'm going to draw four. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I think I just decide to like lose this game to anything. Actually, no. I don't play the other stone stoker. Because if I draw... Yeah, I'm going to need... Okay. All right, Flippery Rask. Don't kill me. Boom! So you do draw a card. But I th think I might be able to win in two turns. Right, row. Shifting Ceratops, okay. So I'm definitely dead. I don't think I block either. So I make three treasure tokens. So if I play Steamkin into Bergy, that leaves me with four mana. This is like half free. I can kill the Ceratops with it. And then make mana. I escape this, right? Yeah, this is like my only chance of like even trying to win. So one, two, three, four, 
Ugh, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I do make I do make mana for casting it though. Okay, that was like hard medium. Um, play Harnfell. I don't need any more mana. What I need now are ways to draw cards. What I need are ways to put more cards into my hand that I can cast. Play Vindictive Flamestoker. Mana, mana. Get rid of Steamkin. Okay, Urbrask doesn't suck. Okay. Exile, exile. Oh, that was a great draw. Oh, I'm gonna win this. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna win this game. That's crazy to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> From the edge of oblivion. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. You, you suggesting Steamkin has like drastically changed this whole, this whole list actually. Steamkin, Steamkin not goaded MVP. You're the goaded MVP. I tip my hat to you, Samo. That that was that was brilliant. So for real though. Like in all honesty. So here's my here's my other question though. Do I want to put ley lines in my sideboard? Leyline of sanctity? Do I wanna do I want to You're getting stomped now. Are you doing something? Oh yeah, I really seriously. Leyline of Sanctity. Um, you have hexproof. I wonder about this card. I'm just I'm just wondering how to shore up the how to shore up like my really bad matchups. My really bad matchups I know are going to be Rakdos and Control. Because Rakdos is just gonna make me discard everything. And then I'm left with nothing in my hand, and they're gonna kill all my creatures. So I think having ley lines means that I have means that I have some kind of way to at least keep something of mine and I can also cast them later because of the white splash for the silence I know right like it's like you're really wondering about it. Like is it like is it really worth it? But I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end up in like some matchup where I'm going to really wish that I had them and I'm not going to have them. Like so far these lithomantic barrages have not been good. Oh, I don't think I'll use it much. But here's but here's the other thing too. I haven't used the I haven't used um what's it called? I haven't used Revel in Silence at all. But I'm positive that in the control matchup I'm gonna want them. I haven't used Lithomantic Barrage at all, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna want them. I just I don't know. Like what what else what else would I want against? Rakdos. 
Have you ever played a Rakdos matchup? It's miserable. You literally just don't have anything. It's crazy. And then they ultimate a Liliana or play... Or just play a Graveyard Trespasser and you're just like, well, I'm dead. They just, they just have Shieldred. It's crazy. I hate it. I hate that matchup so much. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can keep playing it. Wraths would be good. I mean, I have Brotherhood's End. Brotherhood's End does not kill... Yeah, it doesn't kill Shieldred, though. And I think by the time I would get to a board wipe that kills Shieldred, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, I know. So, would I rather have something that can kill Shieldred? Or would I rather have Ley Lines? Ooh! Oh, crap. Destroy evil. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. You know what, Swarly Barker? That's actually a good idea. I wish we had swords. Actually, that's not true. Swords swords to plowshares belongs in Legacy and Commander. It, and it should stay there. It should stay there. Swords to plowshares does not need to come out of those formats. I promise you. Oh, I love swords too, but no. It should it should not be swords. It really does. No, 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 no. You can okay. You can have path. You can have path to exile, that's it. You don't get swords. Because path is significantly worse. I could destroy evil. What about destroy evil? But like where but like where do I put it? Do I put destroy evil in place of the lithomantic barrages? Because I've used all of my obliterating bolts and brotherhood's end. Opponent was a true gentleman. <laughs> like is that is that what it is? I feel like I'm gonna want these though. I feel like immediately after this, I'm gonna play a blue. I'm gonna play a blue curiosity deck. I'm gonna be like, why did I take out those lithomantic barrages? I mean, I guess these also work against those. All right, we can. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna splash. I'm gonna splash destroy evil. I had a deck once that forced your opponent to attack and then did the white all. Oh, um, what did they, what did they call it when it, what did they call it when it first came out? I know what you're talking about. You're talking about settle the wreckage, but what was it? What did they, what, what nickname did they give it when it first came out? Because people like to give magic cards, like stupid nicknames. And I really like it. Like, um, like Smuggler's Cock, like Smuggler's Copter is Looter Scooter. I love that one so much. What did they, oh, they called it, um, Wrath to Exile. Because it was a Wrath that let your opponent get a basic for each creature that they exiled. So it was a Path to Exile, but it was a Wrath. They called it Wrath to Exile. That one I like a lot, too. Wrath to, Wrath to Exile, Looter Scooter. That one was also that one was also really good. I like that one a lot too. Waiting on my opponent. Okay. It's not exciting, but I do like that I have my land cards. And I do have a steamkin, so it's not like terrible. And eventually I'll just be able to play this Ox of Agonis and draw whatever I need. Okay, board SRAM. Wait, wait, wait. Hold hold on. Hold on. Let me let me fix my vision here. Hold on. Hold on. Is that a SRAM senior edificer? Oh my great golly gracious it is. That's amazing. 
Let's just play Seeking Him. It also had the Archaeomancer and Eternal Witness, Cryptic Command, River's Rebuke. Ooh, River's Rebuke is good. Every every time I think of River's Rebuke, I always think of that one episode of um I always think of that one episode of Game Nights where they played um they played Brawl instead of Commander. And they all and all the guys found out that Josh Lee Kwai had a Rivers Rebuke in his hand, and he was going to use it against anybody that did anything to him. So they all made deals with Josh to not get Rivers Rebuked. And so he was like, wow, Rivers Rebuke is really good. Like, he didn't, he didn't even need to cast the Rivers Rebuke. He just, like, kept... He just kept threatening people with it. And they were like, no, no, I don't I don't want to get Rivers rebuked. Battlefield Forge, Clipped Up Retreat. We are one in the same opponent. We are one in the same. Splashing white for stuff. <laughs> so I'm probably taking at least three here. And then I just play Urbrask next turn. I think I play Urbrask and actually remove all the counters from Steamkin and then try to win. Okay. So this is, yeah, that's fine. I feel like those deals really just end up throwing the game to Josh. Seriously though, like for real. Here's the thing though, if they haven't learned it by now, like, I don't think he runs, I don't think Josh Lee Kwai runs combos. I think he just runs value engines. Like, Josh just draws so many cards. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. And then I have three mana off of the Steamkin. So I might just win this turn. Oh, I might just win this turn. I really hope I do. One runs with all. Okay. Well, that's upsetting. That's what, see, that's what my playgroup says about me, because I, I play actual combos in Commander, but, um, I don't play, I don't play, like, the Thassa's Oracle, like, Demonic Consultation combos, or the, like, oh, that was, oh, my, or a brusque. or, like, the, you know, like, the Goto Bandit Warlord stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I don't play, like, the really, like, combo, like, competitive combos. I play stupid stuff. Like, they're still combos, but they're just really dumb. So, a great example is, um, one of my decks is, it's a, it's a red storm deck, but it wins by casting a bunch of, I think I just play Urbrask, right? I mean, I could, you know what, I could, ah, uh, but Urbrask. Oh, wait a minute. I get two mi oh, I could. One, two, th ooh, I could. I'm going to do both. Is it a bad idea? Maybe. Actually, no, because I get a bunch of mint. Huh? Oh, I only have seven in my yard. Oh, no. Eh, it's fine. I'm probably not going to die. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Um what's an what's another one of my one of my combo decks? Oh. I have a four color combo deck. The way that it wins is with um Valakit. The Molten Pinnacle. But it's not a mono red deck. It's a four color, it's a four color Valakit deck. So I either have to have enough mountains, which I definitely don't, or I have to play um, like prismatic, like prismatic omen to make all my lands into mountains and then play like, um, oh no. Oh, I definitely die. 
So plus one plus one plus one plus one trample. Plus one plus one trample double strike. So Nahiri becomes twelve. Oh yeah, I'm just dead. Yeah, that's fine. All non big speaks. No, 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 no. Blood Moon doesn't work at all. Blood Moon literally doesn't work at all. Actually, you know what? I think I leave one ox. I think it's fine. Blood Moon doesn't work because it turns it turns Valakit into a basic mountain. So Valakit doesn't have the text of it deals damage when mountains come into play. That's why that's why the modern that's why modern scapeshift, modern Valakit doesn't run Blood Moon because it doesn't work. It turns Valakit into a basic mountain. Well, they're not basic mountains, they're non-basic mountains, but they're mountains. But they but like they lose all their text and their abilities and stuff. Which is why I need like Prismatic Omen and Dryad of the Elysian Grove. What I really want them to do is print an Urborg, a Yavamaya for mountains. But um one of the design guys from Wizards of the Coast has said they're not gonna do that. Specifically because of Valakit in Modern. But then I was like, just print it in Legacy or print it in Commander. I think that's a great idea. It, makes, it just makes Valakit better. How, how bad could it possibly be printing a card, printing a land that turns all lands into mountains in addition to their other types? How bad could that possibly be in Legacy or Commander? Nobody cares about Vintage. I don't, I don't care about the repercussions I would have for Vintage. Nobody cares. Nobody plays that format. I mean, one land in this hand goes ham, so I'm going to keep it. The question is, do I play a Flamestoker on one? Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I can Flamestoker one crash through. Like, what? I mean, I guess you could run, like, all of those cards that say, like, destroy all mountains and stuff. Or no, wait, those don't even exist. They exist for, um... Ooh, I drew it. Nice. I'm gonna take a lot of damage on my land. Yeah, they don't have a card that says destroy all mountains. Yeah, sure. I miss Crypt Ghast. Crypt Ghast? Oh, Crypt Ghast. Oh, opponent kept a one lander. Okay. That's fine. I don't care. You can kill him. Man. Crypt Ghast is good. I like the fact that Crypt Gas is not like $27 anymore. I think it's I think it's just gone down. Like I think that people wanting a Crypt Cast. Wow, I'm just on beatdowns this game. I mean my opponent's already at eleven, so Honestly, they're not even like really that far behind because I didn't draw my land. I'm not drawing my lands either. Honestly, this may still be anyone's game. Crypt Guest and Heartless Summoning. Oh, yeah. That's that's a combo right there. You want to talk combos. That's a combo. Ooh, goes to Discard. Discard's Ram, I believe. Yes. Um, I'm going to Ren's Resolve. I would like to hit my land drop. Trigger, 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 trigger. Land. Crash through. Yes! Uh, game two goes to me! Run it back, baby.
Yeah, okay. That's fine. I like this. I can vibe. We can do this. Ooh, Shatter Skull. Okay. Another land does not fill me with excitement. Another land does not fill me with excitement. I mean, I can card cast. Um... Oh my gosh. I mean, I can, I can cast anything that I draw. That's good, right? I think that these equipment are actually good. Like, the fact that they come in with a creature is good. I mean, I might be casting this here soon. I love Vindictive Flight. That card's such a good card. Like, I think the cards that came out that m actually put this deck, like, on the map, or could put it on the map, maybe with some, like, sideboard tinkering or some other main deck decisions, is Vindictive Flamestoker to act as a second Oxavagonus so that you have the ability to pitch your hand and uh, redraw. And Urabrask to add to act as another another birdie. Oh my gosh, Urabrask. I mean, Urabrask can probably hold down the fort. I draw three when I play this, right? Yeah. I mean, draw lands, play Oxymagonus. Don't kill Urabrask. Okay. I think that's fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not okay with that, but... Okay. I'm not okay with that. Alright, Ox of Agonis. Alright, what do you got for me? Not three lands. One of those was a land. So I'm taking eight in the air. Oh, no, I'm just taking four. Jeez Louise. So many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine lands? Jeez. What does this do? Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay. So I can blow up Urbrask if it... If it... Flips. Right now I'm really only taking four in the air. Because Urbrask just, just eats anything that you attack with. Hmm. What are we what are we doing? What's going on? What are we thinking about? Thinking about attacks? Thinking about combat? Don't think about combat, just pass. Come on. You want you wanna see my deck do cool things again. You haven't gotten to see what my deck even is supposed to do yet. You're curious. You wanna know. Okay, I guess he doesn't wanna know. How rude. Oh my gosh. I really need... I need this Warlord's Fury to be really good. I may have to crack one of these Flame Stokers. It leaves me with two mana? Okay. I, I just have to. Like, I don't, I don't have a choice. And I'm dead because they can move the other stuff over there. Yeah. Ugh. Had I drawn... If I would have had a Brotherhood's End, I could have just killed all the equipment or even just killed all the creatures, but... Goodness. And that's why I'm playing Brotherhood's End and not Anger of the Gods. It's literally for that exact reason. Because I think equipment are back on the rise. Equipment and enchantments. Or... Equipment and artifacts. Here's... Okay, here's what I don't understand about like the reward system of arena is that why do they give me uncommons that I already have? Like why, why not give me at least an uncommon that I don't have? They give me rares that I have all the time. Like yesterday I was playing, I got an Ahiri's, what's it called? Um, I got an Ahiri's resolve. I already have four of them. It was the fifth copy. Like, 
why are you giving that to me when I literally already have the maximum number of copies that I can get? I can't even like have five and then dust it. Because yay vault. I didn't open it from a pack though. It was like a it was like a battle reward. I mean, yeah, go vault, but Ugh. It's just so stupid. That's that's like the vault is the dumbest thing they ever added. Still goes to the vault. I think one of the smartest things they've ever added, and one of the things that I like the most, is buy, is the ability to buy wild cards. I think, I think that is very good. I like it a lot because I don't have to sit here and like buy a bunch of packs to make stream decks. I can just like if I'm just missing three wild cards, I don't have to like crack a bunch of packs in order to get three wild cards. I can just buy them. And I like it a lot. Man, I really ought to put my AC in the window. I really should. Ooh, lightning bolt snooze. How do you... Wait, isn't that the lightning bolt art? Or is that... I don't think that's the lightning bolt art. Isn't it like... No, that is, that is the lightning bolt art. Oh. I thought it was like one of the other ones. What is your... Okay, question. What is your favorite lightning bolt art? Do you do you have a favorite lightning bolt art? Got some got some pretty good ones. Another land. I can cast whatever I draw. That's the good thing. Just don't play a land. Or play a land. And then just pass. You know what thought sees me? Ha! Joke's on you! My hand is thought sees proof. Oh, that was a good... That was a great draw. Oh, that was a bad draw. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so good. I don't know how I feel about that swamp. Doesn't seem very swampish. I like the I like the um I like the Kamigawa swamps that look like Oh, this is just the Rakdos matchup. I like the Kamigawa swamps that just look like um <laughs> They just look like <laughs> they just look like mountains. Steamkin. I think they'll probably just kill this, but I mean, I'm not gonna not play my cards. Reckoner Bankbuster. Okay. Go ahead. Thought sees me again. Do it. You won't. Are you going to attack or are you going to use Blood Ties to kill the runaway Steam Can? You can't use it at instant speed, bro. So I'm going to flip a bunch of cards and get it out of range of this thing. Oh, a second one's good. Okay. Yeah, we can do second one. Oh, 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 Light and Bold Art. Really? That's your favorite one? Okay. I don't, I don't have, ugh. I made it sound like I had something against that art. I don't. It was just like a little surprising. I kind of, oh, oh, it was a fatal, oh, okay. I, honestly, I kind of just expected you to just be like, oh, the, the M, the M10 art. It, it really does look cool, especially because it's, I 
Especially because it's um full art. I think it's really cool. It actually... See, that looks like... That looks like a whole, like, Dungeons & Dragons style, like, using a fifth level spell slot spell, right? Like, it looks as epic as casting a lightning bolt to win a game of Magic the Gathering feels. I do like it. Okay, uses the blood. I also like the Strixhaven Mystical Archive one. Not the not the first one that's um that's in English. I like the full art like um Japanese one. That one is also very very cool. All right. Um do you just want to do this? I think so. Play this. It blocks. Sure. Why not? Is Dredge the, still a thing in Modern? For the more basic ones, probably Double Masters. Did it get reprinted? Did it get reprinted in Double Masters? Which which Double Masters art though? Because there's two of them. There's a cool there's a cool full art one that's like that's like um purple and pink. That one I actually like quite a bit. Yeah, that one's that one's also really cool. I like that one a lot. Okay. Um Cast Flame Stoker. So I think what I need is to not cut Ox of Agonis or Vindictive Flame Stokers. Modern. Is mo is Dredge even like on here anywhere? Wow, I don't even think Dredge is on here anymore. Oh, there it is. There's a Dredge deck. Oh, it went 5-0 and in a Modern League. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Dredge is making a, making a comeback. Oh, I will absolutely block to kill stuff. 100% bro you think I won't I can just escape it yeah ox ox is 100% staying in this matchup like there's no way it's coming out there's another ox um do I just play this ox I think it was like a little bit of a waste. I mean, not really, because it's another blocker. Yeah, we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, it does look cool. The ones that I... Actually, hold on. I'll just get them. Ugh. These are these are all my popper decks. I don't. I got um some lightning bolts for one of my popper decks. It's like an is it blitz deck. It's really cool. It's got delvers. It's got delver of secrets in it. It's got monastery swift spears in it. Yeah, this is right. I just wanna I just wanna see what lightning bolts I have. And this one. Eh. Oh crap! I have chain lightnings in here. 
Yeah. Chain lightnings, lava spikes, and lightning bolts. These are these are the lightning bolts that I have for it. They're like the old, they're like the old art white border ones where it's all where it's all blue. <coughs> are you going to do something? I'm casting Ox of Agona. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Cast Ren's Resolve. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could escape the other one. Nah, I think I'll just wait. They are thinking about it. <laughs> Honestly, Graveyard, Graveyard Hate isn't really even like that good against me. What was that? Creature gets negative, negative. Okay. Weird, but okay. Invoke despair. Consider my despair invoked. Especially because now I'm dead. I despise the Rakdos matchup. Oh yeah, no. Go go ahead and do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, no, that, yeah. It's not like you already had lethal or anything. Yeah, go go through the extra steps to crew the Reckoner Bankbuster. What? Bro, if you have lethal, just take the swing. Absolutely atrocious. Okay, destroy evil for shield roads. Removal, removal. What comes out? Honestly, I think I just trim across the whole board. I think I literally just do this. I still need to take out one more. They do have graveyard trespassers, so these are worse. Like, is this fine? Yeah, that's fine. I I need as much removal as I'm gonna get in order to like even attempt to fight. So. So, <sighs> okay, it's fine. It's thought sees proof, which is important. Honestly, that's very important to me. A hand that's thought see that's thought sees proof. I mean, it might not be after I cycle this, but okay. Blood crypt. Thought sees blood crypt. Okay. Uh, sure. Boo. Do I have any important texts? No. But I do have a Reddit notification. Crash throw. Draw. Land. Okay, that's very that's actually that's actually really interesting that it's not a land. It is what it is. What is that? I'm literally playing Magic the Gathering Arena right now. Why are you why are you giving me a notification for Magic the Gathering Arena when I'm playing it right now? Graveyard trespasser. Okay. Yeah, whatever. The ward doesn't even do anything. Like, I don't care that I have to discard a card. I don't want half of these cards, bro. They're just all lands. You you can have them. Do not forget to play land. Okay, good. Do not forget to play land cards. <laughs> what are you exile? Warlord's Fury. Okay. okay, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Sure. Warlord's Fury. Play Burgie. Burgie, 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 Burgie. Play Cliff Up Retreat. Play Warlord's Fury. Maybe draw into a bunch of stuff. Okay. We can do that. 
So maybe the Rakdos matchup isn't actually that bad. But Shieldred absolutely wrecks me. Another Vindicta Flamestrike I like. Pass. Okay, no Fatal Push. What do you discard? Discards. Shieldred, Shieldred. Discards Graveyard, Trespasser, Blood Crypt. Okay. Attacks. Okay. I'm just not going to block. I don't care. My life total is a resource. Probably playing. Oh, it's... Oh, I thought it was a vote. Okay. So I need to draw Destroy Evil. I have three. Destroy evil off the top. Destroy evil off the top. Destroy evil off the top. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Destroy evil off the top. That's not destroy evil off the top. Play like. Anyway. Go! I'm not about to draw four cards and take friggin' eight to the face. I I low-key despise this card. I think this card's a pain. Oh, but it dies to removal. Yeah, but like you can't find your removal without drawing a bunch of cards and then you lose a bunch of life to it anyway. You literally just lose to the card. It's I I hate it. I really do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loathe, I'm gonna loathe the day when my buddy puts it in his Nekusar deck. Sure, whatever. I don't know why you're even bothering. Like, if I activate it, isn't that good for you? Because I get domed for 12? Or 8? Why do I keep wanting to say 12? No, you can have your 2 damage. Whatever. Destroy evil off the top. Destroy evil off the top. Not destroy evil. Play Warlord's Fury. Cry. So stupid. Destroy evil. Destroy evil. Destroy evil. Destroy evil. Two lands does not fill me with confidence, my guy. Like I just lose. I don't I don't have the ability to search for cards to kill children. I mean unless I attack and they block, but like why would they do that? You know what? Let's try it. This is this is like literally my only way out. Is if I attack with this and they block and I Brotherhood's End. But like that's super suspicious. If they just kill it, I'm probably just gonna use Vindictive Flamestoker and kill myself. Yeah. I'm just gonna use this and kill myself. I'm just done. <sighs> so maybe instead of ley lines, I just want like 18 spells to kill Shieldred. Because obliterating bolt doesn't do it. Yeah, tell me about it. And you know what? And you know what's crazy? Off of all those cards that I drew, none of them deal with Shieldred. I think that I think that Shieldred and Ragavan are actually super similar. Because if you just keep Ragavan and your opponent doesn't have a removal for it, you just win that game. 
if you have shielded and your opponent doesn't have a removal for it, you just win. Like they like they can't you can't do anything about it. You just win. I think cards that play like that in sixty card formats suck. I think it, I think they're bad. I think I think that they create this kind of like gameplay where I'm literally just begging for destroy evil off the top so that I can continue to play the game. And when I don't have it, I just lose. Is there a white spell that excels black creatures? Isn't there one? Yeah, this thing. Exile target creature or planeswalker that's black or god. Maybe I just want these. Maybe I just want these instead of instead of destroy evils. I think if I go down an obliterating bolt and then just and then get rid of this destroy evils. And then just play four of those. I think that's fine. That seems good. Please, please don't have me play against more Rakdos. I don't want to. Honestly, it's not even like the whole Rakdos matchup. It's just Shieldred. I just don't... I just hate playing against that card. I hate that card. I really do. I know that I'm really complaining about it too, but... I don't know. You guys are in my stream. Deal with it. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'll just have some peanut butter. I'll be okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I eat peanut butter right out of the jar. I'm so quirky. I don't know i don't know why anybody watches my content <laughs> i don't i don't know why anybody would watch my content. yeah that's what it thought i don't know why anybody would watch me i guess maybe it's because i'm like sometimes funny i don't know i would hope it's because i'm sometimes funny or like somewhat and just enjoyable in any way to watch. Ooh, soul rings. Shiny soul rings. What? Sweet. Okay. No thought sees is good. I'm just going to Ancestral Anger and just smack him in the face. Oh, are you going to push it? No! I don't even draw a card! Ugh. Ugh. Hate removal. <laughs> removal is too strong. It all needs banned. Banned. Just ban all removal. Fatal push. All of it. Just get it out of here. <laughs> Fatal push. Thought sees. Everything. Really? Rotten reunion? So what's going on over there? Oh, is this like a friggin' sack deck? It is, isn't it? This is like a Jun sack deck. There goes Bergy. Feel like I'm gonna regret this. Fatal push with revolt. I knew it. Although they still fatal. Oh, all right. I mean, I saved damage because they still fatal push it anyway. I'm gonna use this ancestral anger now before. 
four. They can push this in response. Okay, Ren's Resolve does not suck. One of those is the correct answer. Yep. <coughs> Ugh. So much of it. Ha! Thought sees bug. Just absolutely continue to churn through my deck. Ox of Agonis is good. I could really use an Ox of Agonis. What is my opponent doing? They've used like three fatal pushes. Yeah. So they're actually probably running out of removal. No land. No land. Not a land. Not a land card. Literally any card in my deck but a land. That was actually a pretty great one. You can exile a land with this. I'd be fine with that. Ooh, there's the Ox of Agonis. Okay. I like that a lot, actually. Actually, I could even play it now. Okay, Cycles. And Urbrosk. All right, let's play Urbrosk. Do I want to flip this? I don't think so. I think I just leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. My Steam can't have first strike, so I... Oh, and it can't block either. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Atraxa. Yep. That's fine. I don't think I care. I think I care if you have the ability to... Attack with Atraxa. I don't think I care if you just, like, hang out with her. I'm just going to scoop it. Well, so I play Forge. I play Ox of Agonis. I have two mana to work with. I mean, I'm going to play to my outs, but if they attack with Atraxa, I'm just not going to win. Like, one hit from Atraxa just sets me so far. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, one hit from Atraxa just puts me so far behind. Okay, so these are actually pretty good. Opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities this turn. Do I have to, like, use it in their upkeep? Actually, I should probably be cutting Ancestral Angers if I'm going to cut anything. So Devout Decree gets rid of Atraxa. What else do I want? Do I want Brotherhood's Ends to kill the treasures? That doesn't seem worth it. I think Devout Decree to just exile Atraxa is probably just fine. This is why I'm, this is why I actually moved my camera over this way because I have the tendency to sit over this way. This way, this way I'm at least like a little more centered. That's a tap land. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, that's a little upsetting. Thoughtsies. My hand is pretty thoughtsies proof. Did not draw a land. Land. Not a land. Okay. Well, that was my fault. I probably should not have kept the one lander. Oh, yep. Yeah, this is definitely my fault. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're hurting. Oh, boy. I mean, on the bright side. Yeah. Pretty bad. 
All right, um, we're done. Yeah, we can just call that. I'm just not even gonna. Nope. That that whole thing, we can just sweep that under the map. I'm not even gonna. Nope. What 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 attracts a creativity match? I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> One. I wonder if this will be better if I turn this on. Oh my. Okay, well, I don't know what happened to my settings that it is like that. But... Yeah, I think that's fine. Sunny, see, now this one has two cantrips, and I'm on the draw. I think that this is a reasonable one lander. Thoughtsies? Bilious Skull Dweller. Okay. Draw an ox. I mean, I have land number two, so that's fine. So, black. Yeah, boy. Am I already dead? Yep. I go to three poison. Would like to try to draw my third land. Mm, did not draw my third land. Okay. What do you got? I actually would like to try a Rot Priest deck. I'm not sure if I want to play it in Standard or something else, though. What could they possibly... No, they probably just have a Pump Spell or something. I don't know. I'll just go to 6. I'll just die. Whatever. I've, I've had my moments of glory tonight. This deck, this deck has actually been pretty sweet. I wonder if these should just be like interactive spells. All right. Stinkin. Into Stinkin. Into Fury. Into Land, hopefully. Please, for the love of God. We're both on two lands, buddy. That's a druid. This just gets in for normal damage, though. That's fine. Sure. Why not? Do your worst. So dies, 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 dies. Just don't, just don't let anything, just don't cast anything. No, you don't need to cast.
But like, is that it? So they just trade? Okay, that's fine. There's a land for the love of God. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play Urbrask. Oh, hey, Hannah, how's it going? Okay, so I did not draw that. But I can play Bergy. Get three more counters off of this. Hopefully draw something. I'm hoping. Honestly, Ren's resolves and... Oh! Took game one. What? Okay. Interaction. Going down. Cards. I think that's just where I caged. It's good. Sorry, I've been trying to cap your streams, but keep missing them. That's fine. I don't. Ooh. I don't know what I just ran over. I I appreciate whatever support I am able to get. I would I would love to do this full time. I really would. I'm trying to. Oh, speaking of doing this full time, um, I'm actually going to start posting other YouTube videos that are not just stream vods. I'm gonna start like doing gameplay videos. I'm very excited about it. I recorded one on Sunday, and I think it's really cool. I didn't do too well in my games, but it's got some really, really sweet moments in it that I'm really excited about. I am I am so excited to edit it and come out. Oh, you subscribed again for two months? Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Oh, it's a fin deck. Oh, okay, that makes a very large amount of sense. I'm just not going to play anything. Yeah, I'm hoping to try to grow my YouTube a little bit. And then in turn, it will let me grow my channel also. Already up to six poison. Jeez Louise. Oh, brotherhood zone. Deal three damage to everything. I'm hoping you have absolutely nothing. Actually, I actually have two. Okay. I actually have two episodes. Or I have two videos. I already recorded the other one. It's not super good. Um, just because, like, it was my first, like, these first two, they're not gonna be good. They're, like, my first two game. they're, like, my first two videos. I'm still, like, trying to get the hang of it. I think once I hit, like, four or five, they'll start being, like, consistently, like, oh, yeah, oh, like, these are, like, these are kind of good. Each creature, yeah. So I have to block this? That sucks for me. No, 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 no! Ugh! And I have to block this. And unless I draw Brotherhood's End, I just lose. Actually, do I just lose? I get two, right? How do I not die? If I play Steamkin and Vindictive Flamestoker, I lose. Because I just block, block, and then I don't play anything. So I just play. I'll just play here, bro. Screw it. So, like, I either play Runaway Steamkin, Vindictive Flamestoker. They both die because I have to block with both. And then play Urbrask next turn anyway. I'm not going to block this, Glissa. You can, you can keep it. Is this my YouTube?
that is my YouTube, yeah. I really... I really need to change my, um... I really need to change the name on it. I need to change a lot of things about my social media. A lot of that stuff about my social media is from when I... Is from when I was, like, very ambiguous and I didn't know that I wanted to do magic content, like, 100% full-time. So I... So if I Reckless Impulse, I could try to find... Yeah, let's Reckless Impulse. Because I need to try to find Brotherhood's End. Okay. Actually, you know what? If I had to draw... If I had to flip two that warm Brotherhood's End, I would want to flip those two. Because at least they cycle themselves for free. Come on, Brotherhood's End. Come on, Brotherhood's End. Brotherhood's End. Brotherhood's End. That's not a Brotherhood's End. Um, oh, I can just flip Herbrask, though. Yes! Runaway Steamkin. Vindictive Flamestoker. Yeah, that happens as you go. All my stuff used to be Harry the Gaming, and I slowly transitioned to Hannah. Yeah, when I... If you literally, like, look at that YouTube and you just scroll down far enough, you'll find me playing all kinds of nonsense. Like, I used to play... I used to play Minecraft on Mondays and then just, like, whatever I wanted to on Tuesdays. And then I play, like, Magic on thir on Fridays. Um, I didn't... I... Oh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was looking I was looking for my Urbrask because it was no longer on the board. And I was like, wait, did they kill it? No, he's just chilling over here as a saga. Uh <laughs> uh I am I am stupid. Okay, I don't care about that. Let's just cast the ox. I haven't played Minecraft since I was playing it on my streams, actually. I mean, there's an Urbrask. Actually, you know what? I could play this Urbrask. And then... I get another counter from Steamkin. Is that worth it? I think so. I do that a lot. Like, I won't be paying attention. And then I'm like, wait, what did they do? Oh, for, for Magic the Gathering? Yeah. I'm gonna play this other Steamkin, actually. <laughs> I honestly, if this flip from Ren's Resolve is good enough, I could just win this turn. Obliterating Bolt. Okay. I mean, that's not nothing. Let's kill this. Actually, is this my third instant of sorcery? <gasps> Actually, I could Vindictive Flame Stoker. Let's do that, because I could just end up winning this turn. Yes! Cleaned house! What? Okay, okay. I officially declare Ruby Storm good. I am declaring it good. I think that I think that it just needs I think it needs some main deck and some um sideboard choices, right? S seriously. For like 100% for real. Shout out to Samo Sidekick, the GOAT, the MVP for telling me to put Steamkin into the deck. 100%. So like the question is, do I run more of these? Do I run do I put interaction in the main deck? I think interaction in the main deck is good. This leaves me for like I really want something that can kill Shieldred. But the thing is that the only stuff that kills Shieldred is like three mana. And I kinda hate that.
Does red have anything that deals with black creatures? Or is it just white? Oh, no, no, no. Red's cards will all be about white and blue, probably. So I guess... Here's what I think. I think Obliterating Bolts can go main. We can add. We can even add one more. So I think doing this, it also frees up three sideboard slots. So I think I could run like, honestly, you might even be able to run just like Ley Lines, Ley Line of the Voids for like Grease Fang and stuff. Actually, maybe that's not a terrible idea. You could cut a Devout Decree and just play four Ley Lines on the sideboard. Is that worth it? Or do you just play like Hersa's? Hmm, I don't know. I think that... I think that the way that it is, is really good. I think between Steamkin, Bergy, and Urbrask, you just win. And eventually, I think you'll find Urbrask. I feel like Nahiri's Warcrafting would be the choice of... would be the card of choice to kill Shieldred. I was thinking about a main deck way to kill Shieldred that wouldn't... Because it has the ability to exile other cards and maybe draw them for anything else. Maybe. You know what? That might be worth trying, actually. Because on a combo turn, if you draw it, can potentially find a good card too if you target something else with it. Yeah. Look at how S cards are your life, but X is an excess damage all this way. Maybe. You know what? I think I can put these in and try them. For real, you were not here earlier when I was like, when I was just going on my absolute rant about Shieldred. I was like, I was like Shieldred and Ragavan. Create this removal check format where if you don't kill it you just win with it on the board i was i really was i'm still upset about it but here's the thing though it also absolutely hoses my deck <laughs> it it shuts off aux it shuts off vindictive flamestoker and crash through and warlord's fury none of these cards work anymore they just say they just say you die like, I can't cast any of those cards. I also think, I also think Raghavan is... I think Raghavan is toxic. I think all of Modern Horizons, two specifically. Not the first one. I thought the first one was awesome. I thought it really shook up Modern. And it created these new archetypes around these new cards. But it wasn't all Modern Horizons cards. It was like, oh yeah, we have Urza, and Urza makes this combo, this already existing combo, better. Oh yeah, we have we have um we have um Yogmoth now. And now Yogmoth makes this whole new combo based on all these really bad cards, right? That is what I liked about the first Modern Horizons. Modern Horizons 2 just absolutely turned the whole format into Modern Horizons 2. You cannot play anything if you do not if you're not playing Modern Horizons 2 cards. And it's, and it's stupid. It's really dumb. I don't like Modern anymore. Modern used to be like one of my favorite formats. I hate it now. I think it's dumb. I think that, I think that they should just ban. I think that should, they should ban a bunch of cards in Modern. Or unban stuff. Unban Crock Clan Ironworks and Splinter Twin. Uh, 100%. I think that's fine. I don't know. I think something for the graveyard is probably good. Do I have enough lands? I'm playing 20. Yeah, I think 20 is fine. 20 lands is fine. And then the, the white splash for devout decrees and the silences. I'm annoyed because I was excited about the Tales of Mother Earth and didn't realize it wouldn't be playable in standard. Here's the thing, though. I still think that that... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some best of one while, while, we, while we talk. Because I... I should be going, but I want to. I want to give my two cents about some stuff. So, um, Tales of Middle Earth, right? 
I think it's a great idea. I think that they are doing it the right way, the same way that they did with Warhammer, which was they picked a universe that specifically fit the entire fantasy theme already. I think when they don't pick fantasy stuff, it doesn't work. So picking... Oh, I should have played this first. That's fine. I think that picking Stranger Things, even though I really like Stranger Things, I think was not great. I think picking um, Transformers, even though I think Transformers was really great. I love Transformers. Um, I think that that was also like a mediocre decision. Um, what else? I think Street Fighter was super mediocre. Um, Fortnite was just a terrible idea. Like if you're, like if you're going to add a bunch of, oh, it's just, it's just blue. Um, it's just blue. In fact, I think if you're going to add a bunch of cards, yeah, no, they did. They're all, so they're all secret layers. They're all secret layer cards. They're not like, they're not like full sets on their own. <sighs> They're all secret layer cards. But I don't know. Maybe maybe that makes it different. Maybe because they're secret layer cards and not full sets, that they that they're more okay. Oh. Probably gets countered. I think this deck is cool. This is like the this is like the only control deck that I like going against because I think it's actually really neat. So like when they picked Lord of the Rings, I was actually pretty excited because I was like, oh, it's it'll work, you know. Like, it's not, like, it's not going to be weird. Because they, because they pick something that doesn't, like, really fit in the fantasy genre. Oh, are you just going to get in my car, bro? Yes. That makes me sad. Dang it! Why does everybody insist on taking my things? Vindictive Flame Stoker. Reckless Impulse. Ooh, Bergy. Let's play Bergy. I love that it just says Urbrask. Mana cost. Treasure. I love that my treasure token has... And it's legendary. Because... Uh, and loses all other card types and abilities. Really? This is just really dumb. Oh, okay, so I can kill until I may play the XL card this turn. Okay, well, I'll just kill this. Okay. So what? Okay, that goes on the bottom. So Warhammer 40k was amazing. I really hope that they do more. Honestly, I really hope that they do more universes. I would love to see them do more universes. But I want them to be smart about what they pick. Like, what what would the next one be? I'm just going to have Vraska's fall me again. Bring me on there. Okay. Well, I'm pretty defeated here. I think I'm ready to just be done. Like, what? I know that we're getting Doctor Who. And I'm trying not to let my love of Doctor Who overshadow the fact that I think it's probably a bad idea. Because Doctor Who isn't fantasy. It's sci-fi. So I'm not sure how well it's going to fit. Yeah, they're just going to counter everything that I play. I love Doctor Who. I have an aunt that loves Doctor Who, and she gives me Doctor Who Christmas presents all the time. 
So does my uncle, actually. My my uncle on my dad's side also knows that I love Doctor Who. He has all of them on DVD. He also, like, really likes it. It's also game. It's also games like this where I burn all of these cards. So then when Urbras comes around, I don't have as much gas to work with. And I'm wondering if that means that, like, in grindy matchups, I need an alternate win condition. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's just Chandra. Maybe maybe my grindy win condition is just Chandra. My four-year-old loves it, so his grandpa built him a TARDIS. He can play inside for Christmas. That's awesome, actually. That is really, really cool. I mean, my opponent only has one card, and this is a 5-3. Play Vindictive Flames Directory. Could I... Bergy Urbrask, Bergy Urbrask. I mean, could I just win? Maybe? So they Karn's Bastion me. I'm at 9 poison. They have a two mana card in their hand that says the word proliferate. I they I just lose. Yeah. That's really dumb. I do like that they have a different animation though for losing to infect. I do. I I actually really like it a lot. So how okay, so I have questions. So how big is this TARDIS? Is it like like what what is what is the square footage of the TARDIS? <laughs> so now I'm actually wondering if I just want if I just want these to become Chandra's. I think I still keep Devout Decree though, because I think getting rid of Shieldred is like super important. But like, I mean un uncounterable Chandra. It's about four feet tall. Okay. I hate that it takes so long. But only big enough for one or two kids to play in. Is it like a... Uh... Because, see, you say TARDIS, so in my head, I'm thinking it's literally just like... I'm thinking it's literally just like four square feet, but I know that it's probably bigger than that. So then I add these four Chandras to the sideboard, and then this is for grindy and control matchups as just like the different, like the only, like the other win condition. Because with all of my card selection, there's no way that I'm not just going to get all of them. And the question is, do I want something else? That's not very big. Hmm. I mean, I can't imagine that it's very big. But he's four, so he loves it. I mean, of course. I my dad built me a my dad built me a clubhouse when I was when I was younger like ask me about it some other time and I will tell you every detail of this entire clubhouse the thing was the pinnacle of my childhood I loved it um but it also had like you know like a section like a section to go inside and it and it wasn't very big my dad just built me trouble Maybe, but that does mean that you're hilarious. I've heard that trauma builds comedy. <laughs> I, I, I apologize if that's a poor taste, but I, I, I decided to go for it. I try. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Samo, for the... And I'm going to go back into it just in case anybody wants to, you know, peep the deck list. Uh, thank you, Samo, so much for the great Runaway Steamkin recommendation. 
it seriously propelled the deck from like a two to a seven. Um, thanks, Hannah, for hanging out, for subscribing. I also really, really appreciate that seriously. Um, it's not when the whole daddy issues thing started being a thing. I was like, let me own this. <laughs> uh thanks thanks so much to everyone for coming hanging out 